Someone asked me, is it okay to price lawn care without actually visiting the property? Despite having a lot of great tools like a Google Maps where you can look online and you can, you can actually know the square footage of the property, I'm going to say that the only scenario where I personally would give a quote if somebody contacts me via phone or, in, or email without actually going out there is if it's a new subdivision that I've canvassed, you know, put out door hangers or flyers, postcards, whatever, and I know that they're pretty much cookie cutter homes, cookie cutter lots without any obstacles because it's basically one year old construction or less. Anything else, you're going to really have a high opportunity of shooting yourself in the foot. So that's the one condition where I would say, you know, if you were there recently, you know, you canvassed it a couple days ago and you get a call for a quote, I would feel reasonably reassured in giving a price over the phone because I have, in my mind, I'm going to have a, you know, a standard number for most size lots, except for corner lots being a bit more. But basically, I'm going to recommend any lawn care job, any landscaping job, you're going to want to go out there, do a nice walk around the property, look at all the obstacles, all the flower beds, all the hard surfaces you're going to have to trim around. And if you've got to edge the property, I'm going to recommend you kind of figure things out. You know, even I would even say to bring um, a measuring wheel like this one here. They're not that expensive. You just walk around with them and they'll tell you how many feet or meters uh, of uh, property you're walking around and uh, that's how precise I would I would actually do it if you're if you're having to edge around a new property and do trimming you you want to know how much it is per minute what's your cost and you know how much time is it going to take you so and the reason I want to make this video is I actually got burned a couple of years ago I've got my uh, business cards up at a landscape uh, supply center that my buddy owns <clears throat> and he passes out my card when people need softscaping and you know various jobs and I got a internet, uh, I, got, I received an email from a homeowner and uh, you know, I looked it up online, he says I need my hedge trimming done, okay. I looked it up online and I saw pictures and I kind of, you know, okay, I, he told me on this, on both sides of the house, I looked on Google Maps, what the distances were, okay, I thought I had a reasonable idea and I asked the homeowner before giving the final quote, I said, look, go out there and measure it. And most homeowners aren't going to have measuring wheels. Okay, and there's nothing quite as precise as that. He ended up giving me a measurement of about 130 linear feet to trim uh, by about, I think it was 10 feet high, and he wanted it taken down about a foot. So taking it in and then down by about a foot. I, I went with my wheel, and uh, it was too late because I agreed to a price, so I, I honored it, but uh, there ended up being about 220 linear feet. And uh, so, you know, live and learn. It happens to everybody, but uh, that's why I want to make this video to kind of help especially the new people if you're starting out I don't want you to get frustrated in your first year giving out low quotes and then you know you just get bitter and you go do a bad job for this client because you underbid it so sometimes I know it's tough during the spring rush but I really recommend getting out to every every job site anytime you ask for a quote get out there measure it know your numbers beforehand this is what I need per minute this is what it how much time it'll take me to trim and edge and everything but um, yeah 100% I would say to visit so Hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.